Bismillah wa salatu wa salam ala nabiyyina Muhammad wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa sallam Amma ba'd Ahabat tifillah from the pearls of the Salaf al-Salih and our Salaf is the statement of Imam Ibn Khatib rahimahullah hu ta'ala and he said lo alim al-mu'minun فضل الصلاة على النبي صلى الله عليه وسلم لما كفت ألسنتهم عنها كلهين اللهم صل على نبينا محمد اللهم صل على نبينا محمد إمام ابن خطيب رحمه الله تعالى said if the believers knew the benefit of giving salat upon the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam their tongues would not cease to do that all the time meaning they would continue to do that all of the time this shows us again the importance of Ibadah and that the Salaf al-Salih that they were concerned with that that the Sabila Mu'mineen is based on worshipping Allah Subhanahu Wa Ta'ala when we say we follow the Minhaj of the Salaf al-Salih we follow them in every aspect. That's what we're trying to do. And what we miss often, and may Allah forgive us and our brothers and sisters, is to really f focus on that ibadah. Focus on establishing your relationship with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Not concerning about what everyone else is doing. There's a time and a place for everything. But the more you do the basic aspects of ibadah, the more you're going to be have favor with your Lord subhanahu wa ta'ala. That you're going to come closer to Him, you're going to fulfill your duties to Him, and you're going to be rewarded by Him. Because that's what it's all about. Every aspect of the deen, it's about worshipping Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. It's about doing the commands of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. It's about gaining taqwa Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. What is taqwa Allah? It is. Fulfilling the commands of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and leaving off his prohibitions. That's taqwa. So the mu'min trying to follow the sabila salaf, uh, the, sabila salaf the salaf al-salih, the minhaj of the salaf, concerns himself or herself with ibadah. And with those things which are going to draw them closer to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. More than they concern themselves with the actions and behavior of others. And may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala bless us to be of them. And to be of the righteous and the salihin. And to be of those who come closer to Allah. And may Allah forgive us of our many, many sins and shortcomings. And bless us with ikhlas with thabat, meaning ikhlas, sincerity to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Thabat, meaning firmness upon the sunnah of the Messenger of Allah. Sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Wa sallallahu wa sallam ala nabiyyina Muhammad. Wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa sallam.